what is it like the 12th myth of 12 myths about va loans and why va loans and intern va clients are great clients to have and Lauren, before you start, I just wanted to do my disclaimer, letting everyone know that we are recording this. Um, this Zoom meeting is being recorded for training and quality assurance and content purposes. And we're also streaming live to Facebook, Facebook Live on the Broker Nation Doral Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook and you want to share that with your friends, just uh, in the top, put Broker Nation Doral, you'll find it right there live and share that with all your Facebook friends. So. Uh, Take it away, Lauren. Tell us uh, about what you're going to uh, share with us today about VA loans. Great subject. So I'm going to first introduce my coworker. His name is Peter Rippage, and he is actually a veteran and um, mortgage loan originator, and he is our sales manager. So I'm really happy to have him on this call because who better to give us information on VA loans than a veteran? So um, Peter, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, you have to unmute yourself. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Like Lauren said, my name is Peter Rippich. I'm going to try and share the screen so I can put the PowerPoint presentation on there. And then I'll tell you a little bit about VA loans, about me. Feel free. Look, the more you guys ask, the more questions you have, uh, I think we'll get a lot more out of it. So let me see if I can share my screen. If not, Pete, I can put it on for you and just go through the slides with you. Let me see. I think I have it. I think I'm good. Can everybody see that? Give me one. <clears throat> more. Yep. Let's just put it on PowerPoint presentation. There we go. I think we're good. Technology, it's crazy, man. It's a double, double-edged double sword. Can everybody see that? Should say VA, VA Loan Solutions Military Personnel? Yeah, we can see it. Okay. Yes. Look, before we get started, I want to thank Lauren for having me. Uh, Lauren is one of our loan officers, as you all know, and she just had a baby. Congratulations, Lauren. Uh, I'm glad that I can come in here and speak to you guys about VA loans. Like Lauren mentioned, look, I'm a, I'm a veteran. We just had Veterans Day here. So I think everybody in the room probably knows a veteran. <laughs> you know, so uh, there's a lot of veterans out there. And when it comes to business, as far as doing loans for veterans, it's probably the best program out there. And we'll get into that in a little more detail. But as far as states, Florida is one of the, I think it's the number one state. I was doing a little homework myself. We have over 21 military bases here throughout the state of Florida. Everybody's retiring, where are they coming to? They're getting out of the cold, they're coming to Florida. So anybody that served in the military is considered a veteran, whether they've served you know, one year, four years, or 30 years. You don't have to necessarily retire from the military to be considered a veteran. So anybody that served four years, and again, we'll get more into that, but anybody that served in the military is a veteran. So right there, the alarm goes off, hey, you're a veteran, and we'll talk about the loan here in a second. So let's kind of jump into that, but great clients and we'll go into that. Uh, and I think there's a lot of misconceptions. Tell you a little bit about Freedom Mortgage, who we are. I think Lauren, you got to know her a little bit, so she's probably told you, but we are one of the top residential mortgage lenders in the country. We're actually the number five lender in the country. We're number one lender for VA loans. Uh, obviously we're licensed in all 50 states. We have a huge presence on the Northeast Coast. Lauren and I work for what's called the Home Team of Freedom Mortgage, uh, all the way up and down the Northeast from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Georgia, North Carolina, et cetera. Uh, so with that being said, we do a lot of work with uh, VA. So we're recognized by the USO. We just had an article in the Wall Street Journal. We do a lot of military cares. We do a lot of different projects for the military. So we have the owner of the company, Stan Middleman, has a deep passion for uh, military personnel. That's me right there, Peter Rippich. I'm the branch manager, sales manager. Uh, this is me and one of my uh, fellow colonels. I'm actually a colonel in the United States Army. I'm over there at U.S. Southern Command. I've been in Miami probably about 22 years, so kind of saying that I'm getting old, but uh, I've been around, I've been around to every military base in the state of Florida. Like Lauren mentioned, I'm a veteran, I'm still active, I'm over at US Southern Command. So I've done hundreds, if not more, maybe thousands, I don't know how many VA loans. So I know the VA loan inside and out. As a veteran, it's a great contact for you as a realtor to reach out to Lauren and myself because we can make, me personally, I can make that immediate connection with them and help build that rapport and understand all the documents they're gonna need. There's a lot of documents 
you know, we don't call it a pay stub. There's a lot of acronyms throughout the military. We don't call a car a car. It's a POV. We don't call the liquor store a liquor store. It's the class six. Your bank statement is not a bank statement. It's your LES. Your pay stub is your LES, your leave and earning statement. It's not very simple to read. So I, I share some of those things. Look, you could go to Bank of America. They might be able to do it. You're not going to get that handheld service like you will with Lauren or myself. And then definitely you're not going to build that rapport and nobody's going to know how to read an LES, somebody that's never seen one. It's very complicated. Then when you start looking at their orders and different things. So uh, that kind of what makes us different definitely makes me different that I can work with these veterans. But let's go into a little more details about the actual loan program itself. Uh, I have down 12 MITs of VA loans. The first one, you know, and you'll see, and you've probably heard various, uh, you know, the VA loan, it's only used once. You know, a lot of people say, okay, well, I use it once and that's it. No, look, if somebody's used their VA loan, you can use it more than once. Veterans only have one chance to use their VA home loan benefit. No, that's totally false. They can use it if they did it 25 years ago and they lived in New York and now they moved down here to Miami. Yeah, you can use your VA loan again. So that's a great great opportunity. A lot of veterans aren't aware, you know, myth number two, I can only buy a house. Well, we know we live in Miami. Obviously, we don't only have houses. Yeah, it's great for single family homes. You can also buy a condo. Probably the biggest secret to the VA loan is you could buy a multifamily, you know, multifamily up to a fourplex you could buy. So I just did a loan for a veteran here over in Doral, a duplex, where he's living on one side and he's renting out the other side. I think his total mortgage is about 2,800 bucks with interest rates being so low. Fantastic opportunity for this guy. He's renting it out, two grand on one side, the other side, he's only paying 800 bucks. So great opportunity for these veterans and for you as realtors to work with them and explain to them about buying multifamilies. Obviously multifamilies, bigger ticket item, you know, could be a bigger uh, sales price. Uh, small and only used for starter homes. No, we just discussed that, that's not true. Uh, a lot of questions I get, a lot of hesitancy. And look, I'm, I'm involved in an organization, I meant to tell you, I'm involved in a local organization called VREP. It's Veterans Association Real Estate Professionals. I recommend everybody to find out more about that and we can send an email out, Lauren can send that out. It's a national nonprofit organization, but it's the people you wanna meet. It's fellow realtors, loan officers, title people, but there's a lot of veterans in there looking to buy homes. We actually give back, that organization gives back mortgage-free to a veteran. You know, what a great way when you're talking with a veteran and you tell them, hey, look, I belong to this organization. We're recognized. We help you guys out. We kind of understand what you're going through. Uh, going back to the VA loan, you know, I hear from realtors, you know, the process takes too long. It's too hard to close. Well, that's totally a myth. It's no, doesn't take any longer than anything else. And we'll talk about appraisals in a minute because I know that's a, Another big myth that comes up all the time. But no, the process, if not anything, it's a lot quicker. That loan is guaranteed by the government. So it's not a difficult loan. It's not difficult to qualify for. Uh, so we go through the process as loan originators and our team of processors and underwriters are very familiar with the loan process. There's no longer loan as far as the realtor is concerned. Uh, you know, some people say, well, there's a VA funding fee or there's a government fee involved into that. That makes it too expensive. Well, actually, it, it doesn't make it expensive. That's kind of charged to the veteran. That fee is built into the loan. But if you are a veteran and you have any kind of disability, you know, a lot of these soldiers have gone over the last several years, you know, 13, 14 years, we have this war in Iraq and Afghanistan going on. A lot of soldiers that come back are qualified for their VA benefit probably the best benefit we have as a veteran is that VA home loan. As you know, there's no, no down payment. So people get scared. Oh, no down payment. That, I, I'm not gonna buy a house. I'm not gonna present that offer because there's no down payment. Well, that's a total misconception. They still have to pay closing costs. You as a realtor work with them, explain to them, yes, put 10,000 down, put 5,000 down. That money's gonna go towards your closing costs. Make your offer stronger but educate your seller, educate the other agent and explain to them that this is a guaranteed loan. This is a great loan. Don't get this misconception that there's no money down and that this guy's not qualified. 
this guy, this veteran is probably better qualified than a regular quote buyer. So by understanding that, educating that is really to your advantage. Uh, I just did a loan for somebody last month. There's no loan limit on this VA loan. Uh, what, what, what do I mean by that? Last year, January 1st, they changed the loan limit. It used to be the county loan limit of 510,000. So now what I'm telling you is a veteran can buy a house if they qualify for a million dollar home, they can buy that home at no money down. If we're doing a regular loan to a civilian, meaning a conventional loan or FHA, you know, FHA is three and a half percent, conventional could be anywhere from five, 10, 20%, et cetera. They have to put a lot of money down. Veteran does not have to do it. I did a veteran loan last month, 750,000. It used to be the loan limit was the county loan limit, 510,000. There is no more county loan limit for veterans. This guy bought a $750,000 home, just moved over from San Diego, moved here. The reason I share that with you, this particular individual had a VA disability. So when you talk to these guys, there's a lot of guys that have come back from Iraq, Afghanistan, have a disability. Doesn't mean they're missing an arm or a leg. They might have had some hearing loss, vertigo, something, something I say small or simple. They might have a disability of 10% rating. With a 10% rating, they don't pay a VA funding fee. So that kind of goes to the veteran. Somebody that has a 100% disability rating, and that, again, doesn't have to be missing an arm, could be for various reasons. This particular person had a 100% disability rating. He can work. He has a great job. He just moved from San Diego. He's working over at Southcom. Bought a house for $750,000. No money down. <laughs> Crazy to think of. No money down. And with a 100% disability, he pays zero property taxes. What is property taxes on a $750,000 loan? It's a lot of money. That's got to be at least $10,000. Well, that lowers his mortgage payment. He doesn't have that extra seven, eight, nine hundred dollars $900 in his mortgage payment because he has 100% disability. Well, I share that with you because we all get paid. We want to make money. We get paid on the, the size of the property. So if you can sell a bigger loan to a veteran, so don't just brush those veterans away. These guys are uh, well qualified for that. The veteran doesn't have to be discharged or retired. Like I said, I'm, I'm in the reserves currently. I've used my VA loan before. I'm actually in the process using it again. I used it probably 20 years ago to buy a house in Orlando, my, my very first home. Well, I've had a couple homes here. I'm ready to buy another one uh, and use my VA loan again. So you don't have to be discharged or retired. Again, anybody that served. A lot of times myth number eight talks about people in the reserves or the National Guard are not eligible. I would tell you right now, 99% of people that you're gonna run into, if they say they're a veteran or if they served, 99% of those people are eligible to use their VA loan. Now there's gonna be that 1% that went in for two weeks and got medically discharged for whatever reason. Yeah, he probably doesn't have the benefit or somebody that committed a crime in the military that might have received a dishonorable discharge, yes, they don't have the benefit. But these majority of the people, especially people in the reserves, those are great, great people to talk to because they have two jobs. If they're in the reserves, that means they have a part-time job. They go one weekend a month, maybe two weeks during the year, they're making an extra, whatever the case may be, $500,000 a month on a part-time job. A lot of policemen, firemen, they are all in the reserves. Uh, they might have served in the military for four years. Now they're in the reserves. Those guys qualify for their VA benefit. So now on our side, as far as income, they have that additional income, not only being a policeman or fireman, whatever their civilian job, teacher, they also have that other income. So they qualify for a higher priced home. Uh, I also hear veterans overseas are not eligible. I have somebody right now that's still in, where is she actually, Afghanistan and she's just coming back in the next couple months, she's in the process of buying a home. You don't have to live here when you buy the home. Yes, you have to use that as your primary residence. You move into the house, you have to live there within 60 days. So for this person, again, they're on their way back, they'll be home here shortly. Within 60 days, they'll be moving into their primary residence. Uh, an advantage for the VA loan is 
for widows. If somebody is a widow of a veteran, a lot of people don't know this. You meet a single, single, you know, widow or widower, and their husband or deceased wife was a veteran, they are eligible to use the VA loan exactly like the veteran. So no money down. The other thing I mentioned on, didn't mention on the VA loan, there's no money down. There's also no PMI or what we call mortgage insurance. That's a huge benefit. I do loans all the time and I see on an FHA loan, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars for mortgage insurance. Veteran has no money down, no mortgage insurance. If they have any VA disability at all, they don't pay that funding fee. If they have a hundred percent, they don't pay any taxes. Really a great opportunity. Uh, VA loans require a perfect score. That's not true. We've done them as low as 580. The, the beauty on the VA loan, not so much the credit score, is the DTI, what we call debt to income ratio. You know, normally it's, for easy numbers, it's anything under 50% for an FHA or conventional loan. Veterans, we've done it as high as 55, 60, 63%. They're a lot more lenient on the veteran when it comes to DTI. So it's easier to get those guys approved and get that loan done so they can buy that dream house. And then this is the number one number. I should have put this as number one because I hear this all the time. The VA appraisal is a nightmare. <laughs> how, many, how many people in here have said that? I think every realtor I've ever spoken to said, I don't want to do a VA loan because they're afraid, afraid, of, yeah, excuse me, afraid of the appraisal. It, it, it's the furthest thing from the truth. Look, when somebody does a VA appraisal, it's the same as any other appraisal, but what I mean by that is, yeah, they're going out there, they're gonna look at the house, they're gonna make sure, the biggest thing I see is the roof, obviously. You don't want them buying a roof that's all banged up and has a leak or anything like that, but it's really the appraiser that goes out there. He has one extra certification. He is, quote, a VA appraiser. That's it, everything else is the same. Uh, you know, we get them back, you know, if we order it on Monday, we get it back within two days. It doesn't take a month before we get it, so it doesn't slow down the process. So it's very quick. We get it back. And look, sometimes, yeah, you're right. Sometimes it comes in, purchase price might be 320, maybe it comes in at 310. But I've never really seen something come drastically $100,000 less, $100,000 more. It just doesn't happen. You know, these guys are looking at the, the comps in the area, what is sold in the last six months, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what they're basing their comps on. They're looking at some of these things. The biggest issue is the, uh, again, the roof. But other than that, you're not gonna get anything else from the uh, VA. Before I jump on to the next thing, does any, anybody have any questions on a couple of things I covered? Daylan? No questions so far. No, okay, fantastic. Look, I, I, I don't wanna go into a lot and throw you too much. Those are a lot of the myths. So if you guys think of a question you know, feel free to reach out, let us know. I'll go through a couple more slides. We're, we're almost done. But, you know, want to give you a good overview. You guys don't need to be the experts on VA loans, just like Lauren and I are not experts on real estate. You just need to know that you can turn to us and we'll make sure if you're dealing with a veteran, working with a veteran, we'll make sure, you know, from me, one veteran to another, I'm going to make sure he's covered. I'm going to make sure he's good that you guys We'll get them qualified and you guys get them in a nice home. We'll work together as a team to make sure we do that. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, you know, right now everybody's going crazy over refis. You know, a great opportunity for you as realtors to talk to your clients if it's a veteran. You know, if they have a current mortgage, well, that's fantastic. You know, we can do a couple things. You know, the VA Earl is an interest rate reduction loan. That's pretty simple. There's no income, no appraisal, no credit check. All we're doing is taking them from that four and a half rate. And I have 275 on this one. It was actually lower than that. I did one yesterday at two and a quarter. Did one the other day at two five. I mean, rates are crazy low. But the reason I share that with you, a lot of these guys have a lot of equity in their, their properties. So if they have some equity, maybe they can do a cash out, talk to them about buying an investment property. Now you're doing the right thing for the veteran. You're helping him lower his mortgage, lower his payment. We'll do all the work as far as rate and term. But if they do a cash out, now you talk to these guys and educate them about passive income, maybe buying an investment property, you know, letting somebody else live there. Now you're generating business for yourself and you're helping out the client, helping out the veteran. 
So great, great opportunity there. And like I said, that's as simple as just changing the rate and term. Uh, so real simple, easy conversation. What's your interest rate? Four and a half. Talk to my lender. They'll get you lower. Hope you save some money. Did you ever think of uh, buying rental property? Yeah, I thought about it. I can't afford it. Well, you know, and that's where we get that conversation about uh, buying an investment property. Uh, next, look, I got to share this. This is something I've been doing. Some of you know me as my nickname is, quote, Mr. 22. I actually have my, if you can see it, I have my Army t-shirt on. The reason I did that, I just got off a, what we call a podcast with another Marine. So look, there's nobody better that knows veterans than myself. I'm a veteran. I told you I'm over at Southcom. I've been raising awareness about PTSD and veteran suicide. So 22 veterans a day commit suicide due to PTSD. Uh, and we're trying to raise awareness to help these guys out. Here's a picture of me. I've been doing it for a long time. I think today's almost four years. And I was just telling somebody on this podcast, I've been doing this for four years. I didn't really see too much on Facebook or some of these other social media platforms. And look, it's not about me. It's never about me. It's about raising awareness about the veterans, helping these guys out. They've gone through some traumatic uh, stress in their life, raising awareness. But now I see on Facebook, I see a lot of different organizations starting to give back. Like I said, we VREP cares, they give back, they help out local veterans, they give them a mortgage free home. I see stop soldier suicide, I see different organizations trying to get the word out. So I just share that with you, uh, that we're here to help out veterans any way we can. Uh, lastly, I think this is kind of a cool picture. I want to salute you guys for taking the time out today to listen to my presentation about VA loans. Again, if there's any questions, let me know if you need anything, Lauren and I are here to help. So again, any, any questions? Peter, that was a great picture, that last one. Well, we'll go back to that one. We'll go back to that one. Yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's a cool picture, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Thank so, you so much for sharing that, the presentation. There's a question in the chat, Daylon. Do you wanna handle yeah, that? Yeah, we're gonna address that in a second. Um, I had the chance of, before I answer, I'll go over the questions. I had the chance of working a few VA loans myself, and. And I'm glad you went over the myths because um, that's a misconception a lot of agents have. And, and I think it's a great niche if you want to tap into that. Um, one of the questions that I see in the chat is, uh, are there any benefits for the children or parents of veterans? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. And I, and I get that all the time. What I mean by that is, you know, I, I get veterans say, look, I wanna, I want, I'm a veteran, I'm a dad. I want to give this house to my daughter. You know, so here we are trying to help our children out, which is fantastic. The VA loan is designed for the veteran, him or herself. So they have to live there as far as their primary residence. They can't pass it on to their children. Uh, the only one it can be passed on to, like I mentioned, is for a widow. Uh, now I've seen some people try and, I don't wanna say work the system. Look, the parents can buy it. They can live there for a year. And then after that, you know, legally, they're supposed to live there for a year. After that, they can, they can, you know, let the children live there and do their thing. The other, the other comment I would make is on a VA loan, you have to be married or, you know, like a lot of times we get gift funds. A lot of times uh, we can't necessarily do that for the veteran on the VA loan. Uh, they can get a gift fund, but they can't do it with a, a non-occupant co-borrower uh, to put 10% down. Then they, they have to put uh, they lose some of their VA benefit on there. So it, it's really just for the veteran. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, another question is, if they are in the Air Force Reserve, do they qualify for VA loans? <clears throat> Not with an Army guy. No, we don't help Air Force people. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's, uh, I just got done doing this podcast with a Marine. So him and I were joking around. That's why I had the Army uh, t-shirt on. Any, anybody, whether it's Air Force, Navy, Marines, Army, Coast Guard, anybody that is in the military, yes. And in the reserves, yes, they would qualify. Okay, good. And uh, what are the benefits? This is another question. Uh, what are the benefits of doctors assimilated to the Army? Doctors assimilated yeah. to the Army? Yeah, Meaning, I thought I just spelled it there. Okay, not sure I understand what, what you mean by assimilated. Feel free to, um, to speak up if you want. 
I think Rob, we have another agent in, in our company, Rob. I think he served in, in the Air Force. Yeah, he's there with us. Okay. Well, Rob, thank you for your service. Yeah, I was going to say, look, going back to the anybody that serves, there's, and I don't want to get into the numbers because I don't want to get you confused. There's, you know, you have to be X amount of years in the reserves. You have to be 180 days or you had to do 90 days here. And what we've been through for the last 13, 14 years, that's why I was saying 99% of people that have been in the reserves have probably done a little bit of active duty time or have been downrange. What I mean by downrange is overseas to Iraq or Afghanistan or something like that. So even though they're in the reserves, unless they just went in the reserves last week, they probably don't qualify. But if they've been in the reserves for a little bit of time, and that's where we as the loan officer, there's a form called the COE. And again, you guys don't need to know all this. We'll, we'll help you on that. But there's a form that's called certificate of eligibility that we as a lender, we look up, we get that from the VA. We're lucky in Florida. There's a regional office right here in St. Petersburg that I have direct contact so I talk to them whenever we need issues, but doing a VA loan, we need what's called the certificate of eligibility. And that shows us two things. That shows us, you know, if they're eligible to use the loan, again, 99% are, if they've used their loan before, how much they can, you know, use on this one. Uh, if they are disabled, it'll show us on there. It just says exempt or not exempt from that funding fee. So those are the couple of things we look in the, in the background to, to see that and every veteran can get that. It's a real simple form. And a lot of times I just get it for them because it's a lot easier for me just to pull it up and we put that in their file. Uh, Peter, one question. So let's say that, that one agent in particular, they wanna, they wanna tap into this market and they wanna uh, get into this niche. How, what would be the approach? Uh, where could they go? How can they uh, find people who, who serve? What would be the type of marketing yeah, no, that, that, that's a great question. Look, you know, veterans, I, I love working with veterans. And I think veterans are probably the best. And it's a double edged sword. I say I love working with them. And then the next day, I hate working with them. <laughs> and the reason the reason I say that is veterans are great to work with. You need something from a veteran. I don't care what time you call them, what time you text them. Hey, I need a copy of your LES. I need last month's bank statement. I need you to sign this document. I send that to them within five minutes. Boom, done. Now, the, the flip side, the reason I hate working with these guys is they're so type A, they expect it done tomorrow. You know, they don't understand that they have to do an inspection on the house, that they have to do an appraisal, that the title, you know, they, they're like, well, how come we didn't do that yesterday? Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's the type A with their hair on fire. But great guys to work with as far as getting, getting that done. So they're fantastic to work with as far as that goes. You explain them the process. They'll listen to you. Once you build that trust with a veteran, and that's what I'm getting at, to get into an organization, look, they can tell a mile away you're fake and you just want to get their business. Oh, yeah, I love veterans. Yeah, everybody loves veterans. I, I, I don't know anybody that's ever said, I hate veterans. Why would anybody say, everybody loves veterans. Everybody wants to work with them. The, the best way is get involved in some different organizations where they can kind of see you and realize that, you know, that they trust you, you know. And I mentioned this, this VREP, and I think it's VREP.net, or I can send an email later on that. That's a good local organization. Just get involved in some local organizations. Again, people are like, well, you know, I'll go to the Homestead Air Force Base. I'll go to Southcom. You know, some of those bases you can get on, you can't get on. It depends. Uh, you know, people like to, I, what I always do, what I do personally, when I talk to veterans, I explain to them, you know, we hear this hometown heroes thing. I tell them, look, I, I try to give back to you. I work with agents, me personally as a loan officer. I tell them I work with this agent. They're going to help you out here. And I, I never try and cut into anybody's commission. Uh, but same thing on the title companies. You know, there's a lot of BS fees in there. And, you know, some agents, you know, maybe cut their fees. Maybe they help out on an inspection. The one thing on the VA loan, there's a termite inspection that needs to be done. Termite inspection, I, I couldn't even tell you how much that is. Maybe a hundred bucks, you call Orkin or something, 150 at the most. You know, maybe if you tell the guy, the veteran is not supposed to pay for that. That's supposed to be the selling agent, the realtor, the buyer's agent, somebody except for the veteran. I don't know why that is, but that's the one thing the VA does. So maybe you tell them, hey, look, I'll pay for your VA uh, inspection. Your, ter your Not your inspection, your uh, uh, ter termite inspection. 
great. That's $150. Look, every little bit helps, you know, on the title side, you know, we, there's a lot of BS fees in there, you know, guys showing $150 for overnighting documents. Well, that's kind of crazy, you know, so let's, let's cut back on some of the BS fees. Uh, but I think really to answer your question is just try and get involved in some organizations. That organization I mentioned, I knew they do something with Miami Association of Realtors where they go and they do a same class we're doing basically, where they teach realtors about the VA loan. But I think that's the best if you can get involved in some organization, uh, pair up with, you know, other, there's some other realtors out there that are veterans, you know, try and talk to them. But I think the best thing is just get involved with a couple different uh, organizations. Excellent. Great point. Thank you for pointing that out. The other question that I see in the chat, um, I guess it's clarifying the one before it's people who study for medicine and are accepted to the army to finish the studies. Awesome. How are they taking? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So that'll come back to the COE certificate of eligibility. So yeah, a lot of times the military has a program where they'll pay for your college uh, you know, and I'm not talking what we call the GI Bill. They have another program, sounds like this, where they'll help out on medical. Uh, the military is big, big into getting uh, civilians to come in. They'll pay for the college, whether it's medical, being a, a doctor, or on the dental side. And when they come in, they might come in as the reserves. You know, they have the option to go active duty or reserves, but they're actually part of the military. So they'll have that same benefit. They'll have that same veteran benefit of using their VA loan. So that's definitely an option. Okay, excellent. And um, just I have one last question. If I see anything else in the chat, I'll point it out. But one last question that I have is me particularly, every time I'm looking at, uh, working on any loan, I like to gather as many documents that the, the LO needs to be able to facilitate the, the work for, for her, in this case, Lauren. So when it comes to working with VAs, Besides the COE, are there any other documents uh, besides that you guys need specifically for VAs? No, look, and I, I always, I, I told you I do these push-ups, 22 push-ups a day. Uh, I always say two, two, and two. So two, two, and two is kind of the same, same documents. So last two years tax returns, last two months of bank statements, and then the last two pay stubs. Again, military guys, we don't call it pay stubs, so it's part of knowing that language. The military guy will know when you say pay stub, he'll know it's his LES, his leave and earning statement. Now, the COE, that's, you know, again, that's getting a little more advanced. Let us handle that because we can just get it through the back office. We just send them a link. There's a form called DD-214. That is the other form. So that DD-214 allows them to get their COE. And here we go with a lot of acronyms and uh, DD-214, COE, et cetera. But the DD-214 is their discharge paperwork. So somebody that might have served in the military 10 years ago is going to have this form and it's going to show that they were on active duty for four years. They might have been over in Germany, came back, or they were in Iraq, Afghanistan. It'll show their, basically their report card and their history of service. And it shows everything they've done. Uh, that's, that's a form we usually need if we do not get the COE. Uh, Got it. Man, excellent. Uh, Peter, I cannot thank you enough for, for this presentation today. I think it clarified a lot of our, our questions, especially those myths. You know, uh, we shouldn't hold back from being able to. Uh, actually, we have a, a segment it's called Mindset Monday where we talk about different things to, you know, we should all be part of an organization, be part of something, be part of giving back to the community. And I think what you're pointing out, it, it makes total sense for those agents that want to be part of, of, of something uh, meaningful, um, you know, like, like working with, with BAs. Right. I would, I, would add one, I would add one comment. That organization that I, I, I belong to, that VREP organization, I was the, the local president here for the chapter, then I was the state director, so pretty familiar with their organization. We would go up to, we didn't go this year because of COVID, but we would go up to Washington, D.C. every year to kind of fight and advocate for veterans' rights. One of the things they were going to change is on the real estate contract, a real simple question saying, have you ever served in the military, yes or no? And hopefully one or two people, either the veteran obviously says yes, and maybe it triggers him to say, hey, I should think about my VA loan, or hopefully the realtor asks that question, and then we go into that VA loan, because I'm telling you, that's really a great loan for everybody involved. It's an easy loan to use. There's no side problems with it or anything like that. It's really, really a fantastic loan. 
Excellent, Peter. Thank you so much again. Uh, and thank you, Lauren. Anything else you guys want to add before we, we go? All right, guys, if you don't have any other question, Lauren, if you don't mind putting your information again in, in yes, the chat. Yes, if anybody thinks of any other questions, you can uh, email me after or give me a call. I know sometimes you think of them later. So that, that's an option. I'll, I'll put it in the chat box. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Guys, thank you again for, for everything. And just just circling around to to Peter's point of, uh, you know, being part of something that's that's meaningful, that that's, it hits home. A lot of you guys, everybody knows somebody in the family or a friend or a friend's family that, that served in, in any other organization or the Army, Air Force, you name it. Um, there's, it's a good way to establish a relationship with, with them and, and see how you can, you can help in any way or form. So this information today, make sure that if you have any questions, don't hold back, reach out to Lauren um, or Peter and they'll be able to help you with this. So Lauren is putting the information in the chat. You guys, uh, take a picture of it, write it down but make sure you reach out to them. Sounds great. Dalen, the last thing I would say is exactly what you're talking about. Look, a lot of veterans are very loyal. So if you take care of them the first time on this deal, whatever it might be, and you show, you know, you go above and beyond and help them out, you know, they're yours for life. You know, so now when you talk to them, like you said, ask their family members, introduce you to other veterans. Do you know anybody looking to buy, sell or rent? You know, can you refer them to me? And these guys and girls, like I said, are very loyal. So they'll, they'll definitely help you out any way they can. Excellent. Good point. All right, Lauren, do you put the, the info, Lauren? Yeah, it's in, the, it's in the chat. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, Peter, again, thank you so much. Appreciate having you. Uh, you have a great weekend. Have a great Friday, guys. Lauren, thank you. And thank everybody for joining us today for Real Estate Friday. I look forward to, to seeing you next week. Next week, I believe, will be a short week, but it was, we'll be with you on Monday for Mindset Monday. And Steve, before we go, do we have anything going on on Tuesday? Uh, yes, we're planning a, another chime training on Tuesday to sneak in right before the holidays. And uh, are we going to do Mindset Monday on Monday, Daylon? Yes, sir. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday, make sure you register for that at www.brokernation.events. So that's Mindset Monday, and then uh, some Chime and uh, Lead Generation, IDX website, and social media training on Tuesday. So make sure you don't miss that. Yeah, Peter, you're invited if you want to join us on Monday. We always have a, a maybe like 10, 20 minutes. Uh, Lauren, you too, uh, a mindset. So how to start a week strong. We always work on uh, keeping ourselves motivated. So we would love to have you guys if you, if you would like to. All right, guys, with that said, have a great Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Take care, and thank you so much to Freedom Mortgage. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good weekend, everybody. Take care. Thank you. Good to see you, Peter. Bye, guys. See you, Dennis. Bye. Bye.